Okay, before I start today's launch box in Sadachi Nintendo Switch setup guide for all Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified of every setup guide that I release, which is almost every day, if not several times a day, and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at launch box today then and Nintendo Switch. Fairly simple. So what we're going to need to do first is download Sadachi. I'll leave the link in my description for this in the latest version of Sadachi is version 1.0.2 released back in May the 27th so from here I'm just gonna scroll down and I'm gonna download the Windows zip just here this is a portable version once we've downloaded that you're gonna end up with a zip folder if we just go in take a look at the contents what we need to do with this is go into the launch box directory just right click on the launch box shortcut, open file location, and you should then find an emulator folder inside. Here we go. So quite likely you've got a couple of folders in this folder already, such as RetroArch. What I'm gonna do is right click, new folder, and call this folder Sadachi. And once you've created that folder, if we just go back to the emulator itself, we're just going to extract all of those contents inside of that Sadachi folder just like this. Okay, so once that's been extracted, let's go ahead and open up Sadachi itself. If we just scroll down, we're going to find a Sadachi.exe. Windows protected your PC, we're just going to go to more info and run anyway. Okay, so once we open this up, it's going to say encryption keys are missing. If we just OK this, what we need to do is use a couple of keys. I've got a couple of keys here on my desktop. I've got prods.keys and title.keys. So we're going to go back to the emulator, up to file, and we're going to go down to open Sadachi folder. And here we go. So there's a keys folder inside of here. And what we need to do is drag the prods.keys and title.key files inside of that folder. So once that's been done, if we then close out of Sadachi and we open it back up, it's now gone. So that's all good. So what we're going to do next then is actually go into the Launchbox Games folder. And in the Games folder, we're going to find Nintendo Switch. Here is Nintendo Switch, and in this folder, I'm going to just drag and drop a few of my games in. So these are in .nsp and .xci, and they work just fine. And we'll see now that because I put those games into that game Switch folder, Launchbox is detected those already. So let's open up Launchbox, and here's the games. Now, we don't have the emulator itself set up with this. So if we right-click, launch with, there's absolutely nothing there. So what I'm going to do then is just go to the tools. I'm going to go down to Manage and Emulators. And just here, I'm going to go to Add. And under Emulator Name, I'm going to type in Sadachi. Application Path, I'm going to go to Browse, and I'm then going to navigate to my Launchbox directory. So I'm going to go into my Launchbox directory, into my emulator folder, and here we go, Statue. And I'm going to double left click on Statue.exe. I'm then going to go down to Associated Platforms and double left click on Associated Platforms and drop this one down and select Nintendo Switch. I'm going to check Default Emulator. And if I then go down to OK and Close, if I then go to open up one of my Switch games, right click, launch with Sadachi. And here we go, the game's launching now through Launchbox, but we need to make this into a full screen. So to turn this into full screen, all we need to do is press F11 on your keyboard, and that's going to bring us into full screen. And if you then exit from your game, the next time you boot up your game, it should technically open up in full screen, though this has got various different reports. People saying that this method works. Some say it don't. For me personally, that's worked fine just by exiting and rebooting the game into full screen. So other things we can actually do with the emulator itself, we just close out of Launchbox and open up Sadachi. 
So first thing I recommend you doing is actually double left clicking on the actual statue emulator and just linking up to where your Nintendo Switch games are like I've done. So as we can see, I've just double left click and I'm pointing it to my Launchbot Games Nintendo Switch folder and my games is populated just here. So we can look around at some video settings if we just go to emulation, configure. And if we go down to graphics, we can then start playing around with things under API settings. If you find you've got a black screen and you can't see any visuals, it's worth selecting a different API just here. So for me, Vulcan is working just fine. For you, it might work better on OpenGL, depending on game as well. Under device, I recommend selecting your GPU if you have one. Otherwise, if you're just using your CPU, then you're going to get a very laggy performance more than likely. Other options we got here is under resolution, we can boost this up to seven times. Now, if you've got a lower end computer, don't bother doing this. Just leave it as standard. The beauty with emulation is, of course, improving visuals. So we can likely boost this up to around 1.5 times to 2 times and the game's going to look a lot better than what it actually does. Under full screen mode, we can put this to exclusive full screen. And we've also got some filters just here. Under window adapt and filter, we can select one of these just here. So really that's down to preference for me. I think bilinear is the best for me. We got anti-aliasing method too. If I select FXAA on this one. Okay, and if we then go up to advance, we've got anastrophic filtering. So if I was to put this on the 16 times or 8 times or even 4 times, textures in the game is going to look a lot nicer. Now, finally, under controls just here, if you find your controller isn't working, then just go to input device and select your controller just here. Xbox One for me. And then you can actually map out your controller just by left clicking each one of these buttons and corresponding it with your controller. So once you've done that, we can actually then go to create a new profile so those settings aren't saved. So if we go to new, I'm going to call this just Jamie. Then go to OK. And for me, this is automatically mapped everything out for me. So, of course, I've got the option to map this out myself, but I don't need to. So what we're going to do next is actually open this up in Big Box. And just remember, Big Box is a premium part of LaunchBox. And finally, for those of you who want to add DLC or updates to your games, I don't have it myself, but very simply, you just go to File and Install Files to NAND. If you just left-click on this one, you can then find your DLC and your game updates. Just a simple case of double left-clicking on the files, and that will install into Statue for you. So that's it for today's LaunchBox and Statue Nintendo Switch emulator setup guide. Just remember, I've got an entire LaunchBox playlist setting up particular systems from Techno Power Up right down to the Amiga CD32. So if you liked today's video, hit the notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss our upcoming retro emulation content. Also, feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.